guys. So here we are. Here's our brisket. And I'm just going to talk a couple minutes really quick about prepping the brisket. Um, this is probably one of the most important parts that people kind of forget about or they don't spend a lot of time with, but it's really important to prepare the brisket properly. So just a couple quick anatomy things. There's two parts of a brisket that most people talk about. First, they talk about the flat, and then they'll talk about the point. Now, the difference is the flat is one solid piece of muscle, and it's quite thin, as you can see. The point actually consists of two muscles, so the flat muscle runs all the way through. There's also a point muscle that sits on top. Um, so what we're going to be trying to do as we trim is you're going to see all this fat here. And fat is good on a brisket, but only to a point. And when it's this thick, we need to trim some of that off of there. We don't want that much fat because that's just going to make it take longer to cook. It's not going to add anything. It's not going to be good when we eat it later. Um, also, when we get a brisket, one side has what we call the fat cap. So it's, as you can see in this one in particular, it's pretty well covered with fat. And so, again, we don't want so much fat on here that it takes forever to cook and we've got a big thick layer. We want to trim this down to about a quarter inch thick and then that fat is what will render really nicely when it's out on the smoker. It's what gives a bunch of flavor to the brisket but we need to make sure that we trim this down. Once we trim this all down then we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a dry rub and then it will be ready to go on the smoker. So I'm doing this all the night before um, a lot of times I will do this the morning of, uh, putting it on the brisket or on the smoker. But yeah, tonight I figured I wanted to get this done in advance so that tomorrow morning I can just uh, get this thing onto the smoker and go to town. So. All right, so I've, I've trimmed down this fat cap pretty good on this side, so I'm going to flip this over. And what I really want to show you is this fat here. What's going to happen is I start to trim this. We're going to see that there is a strip of fat that runs all the way between these two muscles I was telling you about. So there's, there's, the, um, there's the point and the flat. And actually, here it is right here. You can see how thick and heavy this fat is this is we're going to try to trim some of that out from in between those two muscles because again that's just fat that's going to it's just it's not going to it's not going to be the good kind of fat that we want to render it's just going to sit in there it's going to make it take longer to cook and it's not going to add anything the other thing i'm going to do i don't know if you can tell on camera but you know the butcher cuts these things and then they they sit for a little while and you always get this little bit of edge that starts to turn more brown it should be a bright red um, I always trim that off. Um, any of that, um, it's just that none of that is going to be good meat anymore, so that always has to go. Um, anything that I want, that I have showing, I want it to be good red meat. And besides, that also helps open it up to accept more of the smoke flavor when we get it on the smoker. There we go. All right, so we are ready to do the rub. So for the rub, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use first a little bit of yellow mustard. And this is really just to give the rub something to stick to a little bit more than the moisture that's already on the brisket. Um, it's just a, you could call it a bonding agent if you want. Um, and yeah, we're going to put it inside the little cavity here too where we took out all that fat. Because that's all places we want to get, put seasoning. If I have a surface I can get to, I want to get seasoning into it. Um, so I'm just going to rub this all in really good, uh, so it gives me that nice layer. So let me tell you this about the rub. It's something I do make myself. It's a mixture of a lot of different things as you can imagine, but primarily brown sugar, some cinnamon, uh, definitely salt and pepper, uh, a few other items, some garlic, that sort of thing. And this is what I'm going to put on. So there you have it. I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator in the morning. I'm going to throw it on the smoker 
And the next time you see me, we are going to be getting ready to actually reveal the final product.